Hello everyone and welcome to this video. So I am going to be describing autoimmune lymphoproliferative syndrome, otherwise known as ALPS, and I'm going to try and describe it in simple terms so that it's easy to understand for non-scientific people. So whether you are a parent and your child has ALPS or you have ALPS yourself and you really want to understand what's going on and why you get these symptoms and conditions, I'm going to try my best ability to make you understand that. So firstly, I'm just going to break down the name autoimmune lymphoproliferative syndrome. It's also known as ALPS, so that's an easier way to remember it, and it is a quite hard name to say. Um, so autoimmune means that the, body, the cells in your body attack themselves. So your immune system is attacking yourself, even though it shouldn't. Then lymph generally means it's a part of the lymphatic system, which I will go over. Syndrome is related to the common symptoms um, shared by all ALPS patients or most ALPS patients. And proliferative means that cells are dividing or they're growing in a way, so accumulating. So to be able to, to discuss ALPS, um, I'm going to go over three parts. So firstly, I will go over simpler terms and then I will go to the pathophysiology of ALPS and what actually causes it. So I'm going to start off with the body in simple terms, then the immune system, and then once we've understood those basic concepts, we'll go over the pathophysiology of ALPS. So for the body in simple terms, I'm mainly going to talk about organs and their functions and what makes up those organs because this is how we can understand how um, ALPS affects these organs. So firstly, I'm drawing lungs here, and lungs are important for gas exchange, which most people would already know this. Um, so we breathe in oxygen, we breathe out our waste products like CO2, and that's why they're really important. Um, I'm now drawing a liver, and there's a little gallbladder underneath. And the liver is has so many functions, but I'll just list a few of the main functions. So um, the liver is important for um, removing toxins, so detoxification. Um, it stores glycogen, um, which is basically our energy, like glucose. Um, it also secretes bile, and the little gallbladder underneath is what produces the bile. We then have the bone and the bone marrow. Lots of people know about bone, and obviously that that is good for a structure of our body, but the bone marrow is actually really important because that's an environment where cells are made which I will talk about in a minute. And this fourth organ looks a bit like a kidney, but it's actually a spleen. And this is really important, um, and not many people know about the spleen, but it filters blood and recycles uh, red blood cells. And it also stores white blood cells and platelets, which I'll go into their function just lightly when I go over the immune system. So all of these organs are made from cells. So all these little cells, I'm just going to draw a few examples. So I've got a B cell, I've got a red blood cell. All these cells will make up the organ and that's why they're really important. So now I'm drawing a muscle cell. Uh, this is a nerve cell. They all have many different structures, so they all look quite different. And then I've just got some squamous cells. Now I've gone over what makes up these organs and their basic uh, functions, I can now touch over the immune system so that we have a basic idea of what it does. So the immune system is really important because it is basically a mechanism of, yeah, mechanism, cells and organs that um, protect our body and, yeah, they defend us. These include... Um, there's apoptosis, which I will cover. That's why I've underlined it. There's platelets, neutrophils, eosinophils, B cells and T cells, and the lymphatic system. So these are just a few things a part of the immune system. And I'll go over the like what each one is, but I'll mainly cover apoptosis and the lymphatic system. So here I am just drawing a blood vessel. And we're going to pretend that we've punctured the blood vessel with a needle. And that's what I'm going to use to describe all the platelets and all those wordy things and what they are. So I'm just drawing a few of these cells and I'll explain what they do. So here on the very left, I have two cells and the circles are similar shapes. So they are B cells and T cells and we call them lymphocytes. 
and they're involved in recognizing pathogens and assisting in killing them. So pathogens are like viruses, bacteria, anything that can make us sick that maybe we eat or we consume some way. Um, so they assist in, in protecting us in that way. Also, what I'm now coloring in green is called a neutrophil. And this is a white blood cell and it engulfs those pathogens and destroys it. So it also helps in destroying those pathogens. Then we have what are colored in red and this is a platelet. And what this does is it coagulates around the area of the puncture site to stop the bleeding. So it's really important. Um, so most of these, what I've written on the right of the cells, they're white blood cells, except for the platelets. So now I'm drawing two people, what, what should look like people. And I'm just going to describe, so a lot of us see these pictures when we go to the doctors or we've seen it at school or something like that, where we have the, the blue and the red and that's blood vessels. So we have red is oxygenated, blue is deoxygenated. But a lot of us ha haven't seen the green and that's what I'm drawing in the second one. And that's actually the lymphatic system. So these are lymph vessels and lymph nodes that I've got in the darker green. And this is really important because it um, transports fluid um, it carries white blood cells, which we know um, are very important for the immune system um, to attack bad things. And it also rids the body of toxins, waste and other materials. So a lot of the organs involved in the lymphatic system include the spleen, the thymus and the lymph nodes. And yeah, that's really good and it's a big part of our immune system. So the immune system is mainly composed of those white blood cells, which was the neutrophils. Mm -hmm.